Good evening, Historical Complex Nation, HC Nation. Zach Edwards here with another Whatever Wednesday. And today I'm going to answer some questions that have been asked about our new site. Um, two questions. One, how do you register? How do you get on and um, become a member of Hunt the Past? Now, can't wait for the contest. Um, you'll see why membership is so important. Um, so you can be part of those contests. Uh, but the second question has to do with why you have to pay, why we're having people pay, um, whether it's a, a lot or a little. Why do we have to pay? It should be free. That's what someone said in my in the comments. And I said, okay, that's great. I want to answer this for you. Now, first, so the first question, how to register? Let me just show you this. Okay, so you come to the website and you're like, okay, I want to sign up. I like what, what's in here. How do I sign up? You come here, view all memberships. Now there's also a place down here. Let me see where, it, there it is. Create an account. You can also click there. So you come to view all memberships. You click there and ta-da! Registration page. Okay, register. Become a member of the most interactive history site ever. So you come down here and there are three different choices. Beginner status, it's basically free, but you only get the search engine and those posts that are free, those units that are free. But at the same time, if you wanna get more information as it comes out, this is the level to be at. Now, this one, one school level, this is if you wanna do like, let's click on it, here, I'll show you. So I click on it, loads up. I can do elementary school, middle school, or high school. There you go. If I wanna do any either one of those, I'll be able to click on one of these and automatically, when I load it up here, I'll have free entrance to any elementary school, middle school, or high school uh, level of history. And so it's really great when it comes to being able to know exactly what I want and have uh, information that's age appropriate, whether it's the information that we provide, the videos that we provide, um, the websites, or the books. Because we want to be able to make all these sources, resources available to you to be able to be to play a part. Now I say it's like you know I have a I have an elementary school and I have a middle school student or an elementary school and a high school student. So how do I do that? Well, instead of paying for two different units, we automatically go to three different units, all school levels. And now this also includes college, which is coming soon. So you're able to click on here and look that bar went away. It's because you're not choosing which one you want or which two you want. You get all of them. So you either get one for five dollars a month or all of them for ten dollars a month. Now, this is an introductory offer, the five dollars and the ten dollars. That's only good for right now. While the coronavirus lockdown is happening, I know a lot of people are at home, uh, whether in the public schools and have to do at home schooling or if they're at home for homeschooling and just want to have a really great way of doing history. This is, <clears throat> this is the process to do that. So you come down here, you put in your information, your name, cards, and then you brought over to a membership site where you're able to add in your personal information, including like, your password to get in. So that is how you register. It's a fairly simple process. You can be free, you can be $5 a month, or you can be $10 a month. This will give you everything you need in order to be a part of Hunt the Past. Now, in addition to that, the other question is, why do I have to pay? Well, there's a really good reason. And that's because everyone that's on these sites, well, is either a student, a teacher, or a parent. Now, I'm not worried about the two adults that could be in here. I'm worried about the student. Now, the student comes in and he likes these topics. Okay, great. It's, it's pretty safe because it's just the topics. It's, information on a unit about Socrates, where he lived, who he was, his history, some old pictures. Again, if you have high school, middle school, or elementary school, you can pick any one of them and get different information per the age. Now, in these videos, this they, video is made possible by they are all age appropriate and embedded in this program. Also, these pictures right here, these are also embedded in this process, in this uh, page, so you don't have to be going out to other websites, being distracted by the things that are going on. 
Now, if I want an activity, I can come here. There's a video about it, books, websites. Okay, so there's nothing that would allow somebody that came into a free site to say anything or do anything that was inappropriate uh, around a child. But there is one very important part that this site, this company, Hunt the Past, has created in order to allow the students, teachers, and parents to use a, basically become a community where one person can ask a question, another person answers it, gets more information about this topic or about Genghis Khan or George Washington or a tea party. So if you come down to the bottom, come to this comment section, you can actually put down basically what you think about the uh, the unit that you just read. Now this part actually allows you to add in your insight about the most effective way you found to teach your youth, to teach your students. The reason why that's really important is because the next teacher that comes in or the next parent that comes in can actually use your insight to help someone else. Or if you have a question, ask your question here. Then other parents, students, and teachers can answer them. Wouldn't it be really cool if a teacher comes in and says, hey, I want to know, okay, Socrates. I want to know what would my students would like. I have an idea, so I need to test it out. So they come down to here, leave a comment, and the next person comes in and says, ooh, I like that, or I, I don't like that because of this. Now, if it was for free, then somebody could come in and say whatever they want, profanity, uh, things that don't need to be said around kids. Those are the types of people that we can block. If they're free, they can come in over and over and over again, and we have to watch every single page. If they put in their credit card, they're more likely, most likely, to have clean comments and work well with the community. So we could have a free site where it's anybody can provide information in here or talk to anyone in here, or we have them provide a credit card, which basically is a deterrent. I ha we have their personal information if we need to shut them out or contact the authorities if needed. And so that's why we have it as a paid site. We could do it for a dollar. We decided to do it for five. Now here's one other thing that's very important, and it's not about the safety, though that's the most important part of the whole membership. The second part, another priority, is paying our historians and our writers. These don't get written by themselves. These videos are not collected by themselves. We have people that are actually running this every single day. And so those people need to be paid. And we could either do it through a subscription base or we can have ads. But you know what? I am sick and tired of seeing all these ads, even the ones that, again, are inappropriate. <laughs> so we have a children's site with no ads, but there is a subscription base, $5 a month. That's like 33 cents a day. Yeah, it's about right. It's somewhere around 30 cents a day. Can you afford that? I sure hope so. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, I wish your situation was a little better. Mine's not much much better anyways right now because for the last few years, I haven't taken a dime from Historical Conquest because I was trying to continue to build on our, our journey, our desire to make history fun. And so basically all the money that comes in for Historical Conquest goes out with development of new things in historical conquest. Now, I know I need to stop spending all this money trying to make this better. But you know what? It's not exactly for me. It's for the kids. And what's interesting is I actually flip houses on the side in order to pay my normal, um, sur uh, the money that I need to survive, basically. My, myself, my family. I flip houses so we can do that. I do this to help the kids. And it's honest truth. I haven't taken a dime from it in the last two years. I did take it for a little while. I was actually an employee. And then I decided that because there's so many different things I want to do, I fed that money back into development of the game. So it's been a great journey. Now I have to hunt the past, which is part of it. This is just the next phase, the next step in order to make education history fun. 
and we're going to create, continuing to create these these websites that you only have to pay like five bucks a month so if you want to do math learn any kind of level of math five bucks a month if you want to learn anything else five bucks a month that way we can actually get uh, a safe environment for the kids we can pay for all the people that create it we don't have to have ads and we make this the best site ever to come into play so thank you so much for joining me on this whatever wednesday i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to hear from you soon thanks again we'll talk to you soon take care bye